Hi, I'm Chris MacDonald and I'm really interested in industrial strategy. All industrial supply chains start with raw materials and for most supply chains that material is steel. But where does the steel come from and what do we do with it when we are finished? To answer this question we need to think about what we call the circular economy, more commonly thought of as recycling. This is a big area of research focus for my colleagues here at the Materials Processing Institute. Everyone in the UK consumes about a quarter of a tonne of steel every year. This could be personal consumption in food and drink packaging or the purchase of domestic appliances, but also our collective share of public infrastructure, such as railways, roads and civic buildings. Steel as a material is infinitely recyclable. In fact, Whereas most materials such as paper are downcycled from copier paper to egg boxes, for instance, steel can be upcycled to new steel types that are stronger, lighter, and harder. So when your washing machine breaks or a building is demolished, then the steel is recovered, a scrap steel, and made ready for remelting and turning back into new products. I'm standing here alongside a large pile of scrap steel that's awaiting remelting at the Materials Processing Institute. But if you want to see really large quantities of scrap steel, the place to go is one of our ports. I visited amazing high-tech scrap sorting facilities in Liverpool, for instance, but small ports, such as Seam Harbour, close to where I live, have a regular trade in scrap. In fact, the UK exports up to 10 million tonnes of scrap steel every year. This is the second highest amount of scrap exported per head of any country in the world and amazingly it's about the same amount of steel that we re-import back into the country. This means that instead of using this valuable raw material to support our own industrial supply chains, we export it to other countries and then buy it back at much higher cost in steel and manufactured goods, primarily from Western Europe. Scrap steel may be the most obvious and visible part of the circular economy, but there are other opportunities too. The UK is also the world's biggest exporter of waste electrical and electronic equipment per head of population. And here at the Materials Processing Institute, we've recently started a project on extracting lithium from end-of-life car batteries, and we're also looking at options for the recovery of tungsten too. Whilst there's been a focus on plastic waste in the last few years, maybe it's time we looked harder at opportunities in the circular economies in steel, metals and beyond to improve resource efficiency, reduce climate emissions and increase our supply chain resilience while creating new technologies and jobs along the way. I'd be glad to hear what you think of the circular economy so do leave a comment below and make sure that you don't miss any more of my videos by getting across to my YouTube channel and clicking on subscribe. Bye for now.